Hello again. Well, if you've been watching all of these, you'll remember that uh, last episode I was uh, struggling to cut out the curves on the uh, on the on the big chunks of wood with a jigsaw. So uh, I've uh, come back and uh, had a had a think. Uh, so I say last episode for me it was uh, before lunch. Uh, anyway, I think I've come up with a, uh, an, a an idea that's not perfect, but uh, it should work to be able to use the uh, the router. So I'd have to decide I'd have to uh, resort to the, the router and just do it, do it half one side and turn it over and half the way the other, which I didn't want to do originally because I knew that it wouldn't come out perfect, you know, as, as much as I try. However, compared to the pig's ear I was making up with the jigsaw, it's, uh, it's kind of come out okay. The one on the front is the, uh, is the doubly, doubly routed uh, curve and the one on the back is one of the terrible jigsaw ones. The, uh, I mean, it's fine. The, there's, there's four of those and I will use them in a uh, box that's in the middle where nobody's going to see it. Uh, and before that, of course, I'm going to give it, I'll give it a good, very good, vigorous sanding to try and just smooth that out. And to be honest, all, the, uh, all of these need a good sanding anyway, because you can, you can just see where it hasn't quite lined up here, uh, you know, because I've had to turn it over. Even though I was flipping the template and marking off exactly where it had been, it hasn't come out exactly. However, it's come out okay. Uh, yeah, very dust, long, dusty afternoon and... The sand, well it's getting too late, probably sand them all for now, but uh, at least that's, uh, that's one step forward. To my delight, the uh, belt sander, well to my surprise and delight, the belt sander is actually making a really good job of, of smoothing out the curves. I thought with it being a flat plate it wouldn't work, but it's actually the, I guess the because it's such a shallow curve and it's a big flat thing, it's uh, yeah, doing, doing really well. Morning. Well, the belt sander was such a joy, I actually managed to get all the, uh, the curves sanded off last night. So it means that today I can move on to the uh, oh, straight and narrow. I'm going to now uh, cut up the longwise, lengthwise, the, the, the large, larger planks of wood for the box. It seems to be one of those uh, periods when everything is not everything, but you know things are th mechanical things are going wrong. Again, this just like the jigsaw. I mean, this has been a bit dodgy for a while, and uh, I, I did mention way back here you know, the the lever that uh, holds the saw up uh, keeps keeps slipping out of place, and then of course the saw drops, which is I said it's been happening for a while now, and I've kept putting it up. But when I'm doing all this sawing, it's just becoming just well, it's becoming very 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 annoying to keep doing that. I've tightened the, uh, you know, the screw thing as much as possible. I did that before and clearly hasn't worked. So I'm going to have to have a go. I'll try to put some more washers in, see if it can get a bit more of a, a better grip. But again, a bit of a detour I wasn't planning on. It's another of those super fiddly ones as well. It's really stuck in the, uh, in, in there, but I hope I've done it. I've put another, put another washer in, in here and hopefully that means that will be enough grip when I, when the handles turn that it will uh, not fall down. That is the plan anyway. Well, hopefully that's improved things somewhat.
Well, it's, a, it's the first, it's the prototype as it were, the try-off, the proof of concept, whatever you want to say. But, uh, and I need to put some feet on it first the, uh, as well. This is meant, this will meant to be, be raised up slightly. But it's taken all day with all the, uh, the, the general faffing around and thinking, but I'm, I'm quite pleased, pleased it. So basically, the, the, whole, the whole point what I want to try and get uh, is that, you know, it's, you can see, uh, you know, you can buy the it's, you can buy the uh, solar the, the stands that uh, yeah I'm sure you got that you can yeah you, know, you can buy the stands and then you can tilt them a bit towards the sun now I'm never going to get to the high angle that, like that but I wanted to be able to uh, to adjust them so and of course you don't know which way you're going so you could have half one side half the other but what I've done is basically double hinge them so I'll do that and then also do that uh, and. So, yeah, you know, I probably won't have them much more than that because, hey, you know, and there'll be some supports on either side. Uh, but yeah, it's worked out, worked out okay. The thing I was really, I've been lying awake for ages, this is why I wanted to do this as well as just getting on cutting the wood, is I knew there'd be, need to be a bit of support uh, on one side, on the, on the side that's not hinged. And I was thinking of, could I use the leg, but you can't because it sort of, it impedes the hinging action. But what I've been able to do is there's a little block just on the one that's, on the one that's still there and then that just locks in place and therefore it stops any once it's in it stops the any uh any lateral wobbliness so yeah I'm, i mean oh god there's another there's enough five of these which i won't be doing it anytime soon uh i said i wanted to i wanted to cut this wood while the weather was good and i said i always wanted to just try it out see if it's worked so i can stop thinking about it but no there's no point in putting any solar panels up because i haven't got an electrics uh, system to connect them to uh yeah, and it's going to have to be a lot of painting and stuff, but still, like I said, it's a long day. You can see the light is uh, almost going, but I'm uh, I'm quite happy. Yeah, yeah, the, you know, the, everything doesn't finish. God knows what that what, pointing out the fridge is. That's uh, somehow the the when I've just been sawing, the the angle's gone off uh, funny. But again, this is the one where I've mucked up all the curves, so this will be in the middle. And apart from you and me, nobody's ever going to see this. So yeah. I think I might treat myself to a glass of wine tonight. Ah, well, talk about literally bursting my bubble. <laughs> after the, uh, after my happiness completing the roof box, I've just come in and found the, uh, the airbed has, uh, has, has popped. Uh, it's all, it's the second time this happened. It's always on a ruddy Friday. So I'm gonna have to wait a few days, uh, uh, <laughs> to get one. So yet again, I'm gonna have to, uh, to work out some kind of repair. The, one of the, the seams where the where the the thing has, has split so uh so yeah so the glass of wine will have to be delayed a moment well in the absence of any better ideas on a friday night it's uh <laughs> so it's old codging standbys hot glue gun and duct tape so uh I'll, I'll report back in the morning. Morning. Well, it lasted till about 6am uh, and then I uh, literally hit the ground. Uh, how, however, <laughs> better than nothing. Uh, alas, I just looked at the dispatch notification for new airboard and I literally let out a little wail when I saw that it was uh, being delivered by Hermes. So uh, I'm not going to be seeing that anytime soon. So I'm going to have to uh, just make the best of this for the next, uh, next few days. Anyway. So, onwards and upwards, and uh, I need to think about what to do next, and I guess that uh, it's going to be, I need, need to go and turn my attention now back, I have to a little detour in the wood, I need to focus back on inside and uh, start getting some of that done. And what I thought I'd do, something I've been putting off for, for a long, long time, is back here, uh, in the, before I start any plumbing and putting the, uh, the chlorifier in place, there are a couple more wires that I need to run that need to go into the uh, actually through the through the bulkhead and into the engine area. I've been putting it off more more because it means more thinking ahead. I'm you know I really don't want to start thinking about the engine area. I've got enough thinking about in here. However, it will be obviously an awful lot easier to get those in if I can before the uh, all the, the the plumbing and things the chlorifiers there. So I really should do that. I probably won't get it finished right now, but at least I can uh, I can start on my way. I also I'll have the you know I'll need to take the panel down anyway because as I mentioned I need to drill a I need to drill the a skin fitting for the uh, 
the uh, relief valve for the, well I might not mention, but I need to drill skin fitting for the relief valve for that and that needs to go, uh, needs to go somewhere in there as well. Well, after quite a bit of thinking and uh, pulling the panel off so I can come and cut the hole for where I uh, need to put the, the, the skin fitting, uh, it's getting towards lunchtime, so uh, it's forecast to rain just uh, shortly after lunch. Well, the uh, forecast to rain's been pushed back an hour, so I think I've got time to actually cut the hole in the, uh, the side of the hole for the, for the skin fitting. And uh, I've, done my, I've done my tiny pilot hole, which was actually a pain in the bottom. I've snapped through about four bits trying to get to get through probably might need to use a big bigger bit next time so and I actually after the joy of using the the Bosch expert uh, carbide tips cutters uh, well I didn't go and buy Bosch ones because you know, one of those single ones was about 45 pounds but for half the price I could get a, a bunch of smaller Chinese ones from Amazon and given that I'm only going to use these once I reckon that this was probably good enough so uh, hopefully I'm sure it's not quite as good as the Bosch one you do got you pay for but if it does the job it will uh, it will do the job Freshly charged battery. Well, not quite as quick as the Bosch, but still pretty good, and it's left a left a reasonably well, left a nice smooth smooth finish. So, not bad for the price, I will uh, have to say. And. To be absolutely bluntly honest, I'm pretty sure the Bosch ones are made in China anyway. So rather than faff around and uh, mix up a some teeny tiny batch of the uh, Yotamastic Primer, the cunning plan, whether it'll work or not, is to, uh, I've still got plenty of the uh, evil black stuff, the, uh, the Dow silicon uh, left over from the windows. So the idea is if I smear, smear the, uh, the, the ex new, newly exposed metal with, with a, a gunk of this, uh, that will a both cover the metal up and b act as a good seal for the uh, for the flange of the of the skin fitting. That's the plan anyway. I you mean I won't know if it's worked for another 15, 20 years, but hey. As bitter experience with the windows, you know this. I know this stuff smears everywhere. Like uh, well, <laughs> I, uh, I don't want, don't. Want, the analogy comes to my head. I'm not going to use anyway. Uh, yeah, which is why I've put some uh, masking tape around the hole because the thing is it's silicon so if, you sm if it gets there you won't be able to paint, paint over it. So uh, have, have been careful. But I'm going to try my best not to smear it everywhere. Right, I'm going to try and tighten this up from the inside. Well that's come out okay, it was a bit of a pain to uh, screw in as they always are. Just uh, finished, it looks like the rain that was forecast all day is about to arrive. So hopefully this little prompt you uh, raincoat will keep the skin fitting dry until the silicon has, has done its curing.